See, I'm, I'm really good friends with all these guys off the field. Um, I know them really well, but I know where to draw the line of friendship. And, and when you step onto the field, I could be playing against my real brother, it doesn't matter. Yeah, on the field, we are professional enough to understand that it will be a competition, but off the field, we're really uh, you know, comfortable with, with each other. I, I thought that was the case, but it has changed for sure. Um, you know, as I said, in the heat of the battle, yes, you want to be competitive, but um, yeah, I've been proven wrong. The thing I said before the first test, that has certainly changed and you won't hear me say that ever again. Yeah, I was very fortunate to, to spend some time with Virat um, in the same team. In a couple of years I played at the IPL and, and got to know him a fair bit off the field and, and I think probably know him a bit better than some of some of my Australian teammates who, who obviously only see him on a, on a cricket field and I definitely get along well with him. He sort of said after last year's test series that some of his friendships with Aussie players had been tarnished. Do you think that included you? And, and if so, has, has that sort of stuck? Yeah, I haven't seen him since that, that series, really. I haven't been over to the IPL or really crossed paths with him too much. Um, but yeah, I, I don't get that feeling at all. I'd, we had some good battles on the, on the field through that series. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of feeling for both sides and, and just that, that competitiveness to, to want to win against one another. And um, I left that series early with, with my foot injury. so. Didn't have the, the chance to, to catch up with, with anyone after the series. So, look, if that's the case, so be it. But um, I'm sure I'll have a few chats with him over this series and, and um, share a laugh and, and chat about the series once it's done. Down the ground. The general public see what a, a competitor he is and, and how much he loves the challenge of performing home and away. And in a, a similar way to perhaps myself and some of the others, there's a bit of white line fever there when you you get on the cricket field and, and you just want to perform your best for your country. Oh, that's good wheels. Much better. Oh, good shot. He's one guy that just seems, every time he steps out on the field, he's just giving it absolutely everything. And you, know, you go to somewhere like England where he hasn't scored as many runs in the past, and the next series he'll change his game, play slightly differently, and, and be one of the leading run scorers. So the best players all do that, and um, just ultra competitive. Oh, there's a start. There's a lovely start after lunch. Like all great players, it's just their pure hunger and desire to win and to make runs for their country. And uh, that's ultimately what it comes down to. Um, and, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get on top of him early. Virat's obviously an unbelievable player. He's, he's had success all around the world now. It's always a great battle when he plays. Oh, look at that. Kick the bones out of that. That is smashed away. This guy can play. Been fortunate enough to, to take his wicket a couple of times. Oh, it's out. Yes, it is. Super catch. But he's also scored a fair few runs against myself in Australia. So hopefully we can um, get one above him this series. Uh, we'll have to have some pretty good plans against him, but also respect that you know, there might be a day where he's going to get us. And he's, a, he's the best player in the world at the moment. So I can't wait for the challenge of playing against him.